welcome to the ninth installment of Learn Your Color Computer. In this installment, I'm going to teach you all about graphics characters and how you can use them to make simple or complex pictures with some simple animation. First, let's take a look back at the character string command we learned in a previous show. It's used to convert a code number into a character that it represents. For example, a code of 65 would be translated into a capital letter A. The codes above 127 are used for graphics characters and are arranged each divided into four dots per character and each one forms one of 16 characters tinted in one of eight colors. Your basic set of graphics characters using the green color set are numbered from 128 to 143. A quick way to see them is to type in this command line. For x equal 128 to 143 colon print character string x comma colon next x notice the section of the characters that are green those sections are the sections which will change colors. The black sections will always be black no matter what color set you use. Here's the color set you would be using. Zero equal green, 16 equal yellow, 32 equal blue 48 equal red 64 equal buff or white 80 equals cyan or bluish gray 96 equals magenta, or what most people would call violet, and 112 is equal orange. When you want to create a graphics character using a specified color set, use the basic pattern code from the green color set. Then add the color code for the color you want. As an example of how this would be in creating a checkered pattern on this in the color set of blue, you would uh, take the green color set, which would be 134, and add the number of the blue color set, which was 32, giving you a resulting character code of 166. So you would say print character string 166. The really great thing about using these graphics codes is that you can use them with the print at command or the regular print command. You can assign them to draw a small simulation of a table and chairs on your screen if you wanted to in the green color set. To do that you would say something like uh, TC 
string equals character string 132 plus character string 141 plus character string 129 plus character string 131 plus character string 130 plus character string 142 plus character string 136 and then we would print TC string okay we could also print at 237 TC string this would create a string called TC string which contains the seven graphics characters we need to make a silhouette of table and chairs then using a regular print command we printed a table and chairs then using the print at command we placed a copy of that string at the center of the screen as you can see adding graphics characters together and placing them in strings makes things very easy with such a string you can also use the old right string left string and mid string commands to use bits and pieces of the graphic strings you formed to form other ones now let's see how we can use this newfound power to create some animation preferably a dancing person start out by typing some stuff like this first we'll clear out memory with new and we'll start with line one where we'll, where we'll clear a thousand characters for memory next we'll go right to line 10 where we say D string equals character string 128 plus character string 128. Then we'll go right to line 20 where we say G string equals D string plus character string 128. Now we'll go to line 30 where we say B string equals G string plus D string. Then we'll do line 40 where we say BK string equals B string plus B string plus B string plus D string plus D string. Now we'll form some white strings. Type line 50. C string equals character string 143, which is our character, plus 
64 to make it white. Now line 60, we say F string equals C string plus C string. At line 70, we say A string equals F string plus C string. Let's try a different method of forming strings. Let's make a string of seven graphics characters like this. Line 80 for X equals 1 to 7. Line 90, E string equals E string plus character string 143. Oops. 143 plus 48. And then line 100. We'll close the loop with next x. That makes the string equal to itself plus one red block seven times. Now we'll create the strings that make up the head, body, and legs. We'll start with line 110 where we say HD string equals B string plus A string plus B string plus BK string plus B string plus A string plus B string plus BK string. Now we go to line 120 where we say 4x equals 1 to 4. Then we'll start building a string in line 130 with BD string equals BD string plus D string plus C string plus E string plus C string plus D string plus BK string. And we close our loop in line 140 with next X. Then we put them all together in line 150 where we say L1 string equals G string plus E string plus G string plus BK string plus G string plus F string plus G string plus F string plus G string plus BK string plus G string plus F string plus G string plus F string plus G string. But that's only good for one version of the legs. To make the animation, we must have three versions. Now we'll make the other two. Starting with line 160, we'll say H string equals G string plus G string. And line 170, we say I string equals H string plus D string. 
the 9180. We make the actual versions with L2 string equal G string plus E string plus A string plus BK string plus G string plus F string plus H string plus F string plus BK string plus G string plus F string. Now we'll make the third version in line 190 where we say L3 string equals A string plus E string plus G string plus BK string plus F string plus H string plus F string plus G string plus BK string plus I string plus F string. To see these three positions formed by all three strings, type in these lines. Line 500, input, quote, location, 0 to 243, close quote, semicolon L. Line 510, input, quote, position, 1, dash, 3, close quote, semicolon, P. Then, in line 520, we say go sub one thousand. Then line 530, we go to 500. And we'll change line 100. Uh, 100, 1,000 to clear screen zero. And at line 10, 10, we say print at L, comma, HD string plus BD string semicolon. Then line 1020, we say on P go sub two thousand, comma, three thousand comma, 4,000. Line 1030, print at L plus 32 times 6, comma, LG string, semicolon, colon, return. Now we come to our versions of the legs that we're choosing. First one at line 2000, we'd say LG string, the current legs type, equal L1 string, or the first version of the legs, colon, return. And 
we follow suit in line 3000, where we say LG string equals L2 string colon return. And last but not least, at line 4000, we'd say LG string equals L3 string, or the third version of the legs, colon, return. Now, run the program and try different positions and locations. In this case, we'll try position 2, relocation 2, and position 5. Notice how well this works. Notice how the head and body remain constant. Whereas, legs assume three different positions. That's all we need to form the basis of animation from graphics characters. Now, let's try and make it move. Better yet, we'll make it dance. Uh, and play music as well. First, retype lines 500 and also 510, like this. 500 for x equal One, two, thirteen. Line five ten. If open parentheses x equal one or x equal five, close parentheses then restore. Remember the OR and restore commands from previous shows? They're coming in handy now. Now add these lines. Line 5, input, quote, speed, 1 to 10. Close parentheses, quote, semicolon, S. And at line 515, we read L, comma, P, comma, T, comma, D. And at line 525, we make our sounds with sound T comma S times D. Then in line 527 we come up with next X. Now we'll enter some data statements starting with line 5 thousand data 137 comma 2 comma 89 comma 1 comma 240 comma 1 comma 133 comma 2 then in line 5010 We have data 137 comma 3 comma 159 comma 1 comma 229 comma 1 comma 133 comma 2. That line 5020 
we say data five comma one comma eighty nine comma one comma two twenty nine comma one comma one thirty three comma two then at line fifty thirty we say data five comma one comma one forty seven comma one comma two twenty nine comma one comma one fifty nine comma one then at line fifty forty we have data two twenty nine comma one comma one forty seven comma one comma five comma one comma one thirty three comma one that line fifty fifty we say data two twenty nine comma one comma one twenty five comma two comma five comma one comma one thirty three comma one and finally at line fifty sixty we have data two twenty nine comma one comma one forty seven comma two now run the program and watch it dance we'll enter a speed in this case two if you like you can add more positions and sounds by adding more data statements and increasing the size of the for next loop in line number 500. That's about all the time we have left for this installment. Next time, we'll teach you about input-output routines for the modem and for the line printer. See you then. Thank you for watching. We hope that you've enjoyed the show and that every person that watched will benefit from the information we've supplied. Remember that using your computer is a process best learned by repetition, so spend a little time with the computer and get to know the information we've given. Remember, if you have a problem with any of the information we've supplied, give us a call. One of our many experienced members of our club will be more than glad to help you with your information. If you missed a show, let us know. We can have a tape of the show you missed ready for you to view at the next meeting. That's about all the time we have for now. So tune in again next time when we continue to learn your color computer.